Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to process the cozy NMR like 2D NMR with Spinwork software and as many of you know Spinwork software is a free version of the software you can download it uh, from the um, website and then you can use it to process your 1D and 2D NMR data by using the Spinwork software so here I have two versions of the Spinwork software. One is Spinwork 4, another is Spinwork 3. So if you didn't see that video from my channel, how to process 1D NMR by uh, Spinwork, you can watch that video to understand the software. And while I'm explaining the Spinwork uh, cozy NMR processing, I can also try to show some part of it. So let's uh, let's open the software first. How it looks like? Uh, you can use the Spinwork 4 for the 2D NMR uh, processing. So here, just open the software and make it bigger. So there are many things, uh, basic information you will get. Like if you watch my previous video, 1D NMR spectra processing by Spinwork. So here, like the most important buttons are like apply phase, auto phase, um, uh, yellow buttons like phase, integrate, uh, calibrate. Uh, so these three phase, integrate, calibrate, and apply phase, and edit parameters, process, and full, and zoom. So these buttons are important here, and also uh, here like in this corner if you go to file edit view uh, options spin system simulation processing peaks and integrals so among these you need to know some of these are uh, like uh, peak and integrals are some options view like edit view so let open a file first one dnmr and i can show you how i am processing because to do processing for the 2D NMR, definitely you need to know your uh, 1D NMR of that specific compound. So let's open the file, like click file, then click open, and then go to go to your uh, file source. Suppose I am opening this, uh, open the FID file, and it will show like this now uh, you can do like click process it will be process or if you click here like processing and click ft Fourier transform so it will process automatically so both way you can do so either you can click here like process or processing so let's do it by clicking here process so the phase is not corrected so it it looks like that so you can click phase yellow button in the right side so click phase and you can use these cores and this course so if you remember one two three four so one and three so you can adjust first adjust the top one so you can get idea like maybe sometimes only adjusting the top one give you the exact spectra you even don't need to touch this so here once it is done then you can click apply and exit and you can use your mouse scroller to make it down or make it up so you can zoom a certain part and if you know the solvent so you can do the solvent calibration um, so click left mouse click like make a red line and then click here like calibrate and this spectra was taken in uh, deuterated dcm and i know like deuterated dcm gives like 5.31 so if i click uh, if i click ok so it will be calibrated and it may be maybe shifted so you can click on here like full then you can see the full spectra now if you uh, drag like clicking on the left mouse and drag the mouse like that so you can zoom it so this cursor i am not doing anything with the mouse like i just rotating mouse 
so now if i want to zoom this part to this part so i will hold and click right sorry click left mouse and i will drag the mouse while i clicked on the left and then i will make a certain this area like this and then i release my mouse and it will zoom automatically so in that case <clears throat> you can see the pics so this is how you can use um, uh, 1d and mr processing and if you want to uh, want to put the pic um, value so click uh, click on the peak and click your right mouse then you will get the peak here so here also like if you click the right mouse then you will get this and if you click on there so you'll get the peak so there are lots of things you can do and also if you want to remove these uh, peaks then you can go to the peak and integral so you can clear both way if you click clear peak list so all of the peaks in this nmr will be gone but the options suppose you have certain peak here and um like this suppose you made the peak here okay and you make actually two peak here and now you want to remove these peak values but you want to keep this so just zoom that area and then click here and click clear peaks in region that means only these peaks will be gone but if you mistakenly click clear peak list then all peaks from this animal will be gone so i'm doing here so this only peak will be gone and if you make it full then still you will see the previous peaks like other peaks are there but if you want to remove all the peaks then you can just cl clear peak list so it will be gone so um edit option so mostly you have to do plot options once you are done so you can keep axis uh, some people like frame like all side to frame especially for 2d you should keep the frame but for 1d you can take it out like frame so click frame and you don't need the integrals for the 2d and also integral value parameters peak levels simulated you need the spectrum just keep the titles um so just keep the axis frame and spectrum and also you can make uh, here the font size like five and if you have the integral level or like peak level those can be changed and this will be like length and height of the spectra so you can export it <clears throat> and if you want these spectra colored so you can select color 2d and suppose you want to make it red and click ok and ok now i am zooming this full spectra and if i want to copy it to a word file just click edit and click copy meta file to clipboard then click in a word file or powerpoint file so you will see the spectra is a red color or something so this is like uh, in short uh, 1d processing and if you want to know details about it you can watch my previous video on 1d processing in spin work let's go back to this um, software to do the to process the cozy nmr like cozy is one of the 2d nmr uh, uh, what is cozy nmr actually the cozy nmr is like making the relation between proton proton um, coupling like uh, three bond away a proton so which proton is next to another proton that is the cozy like correlated spectroscopy so once you do you the cozy nmr so go to file open the source and um like go to the cozy nmr and click fid here and open it and 
first while you are trying to open the cozy like 2d nmr the software will ask you this appears to 2d data switch to 2d mode you will click yes then you might see like these kind of things in that case click on edit parameter so here you can see edit parameter edit edit parameter so click edit parameter <clears throat> and uh, this is f f2 and f1 so remember these two things you need to uh, check on so for f2 size 2048 okay and windows function sign okay lb uh, you can make lb0 and sign shift 0 and gb g and lb and gf 0 <clears throat> all other things need to be as it is like you cannot change anything so now go to f1 and same size uh, for 2048 function is sign lb0 uh, sign shift 0 and gf0 and sh all other things are okay so once these two are done then click ok and then um, all other parameters will be this as it is by default then click OK to choose the processing parameter window and then click process both you'll see pros uh, this PROC uh, so you can click here to start Fourier transform click this so it started like this now it is the full spectra so what do you have to do you do not need to phase the spectrum in this case because um, it is in magnitude mode already so no baseline correction is needed so use the plus or minus buttons in the top right corner to adjust your particle scale so here plus or minus so if you click plus so those peak will be like more bigger sorry if you click this minus so it will be like more visible and if you click plus so it will be going smaller so you can adjust this plus minus um, yellow plus minus sign and range so if you click minus here so it will change a little bit and if you click plus so you can adjust so these uh, this uh, plus minus can give you more nicer peak shape and peak uh, spot okay so now reference your spectrum so make sure that as I did in my first 1d animal spectra i know this is the dcm peak deuterated dcm peak so you can do the reference uh, so it, it not necessary to make the dcm peak or like solvent peak choose any well separated diagonal peaks from your spectrum and left click on the center of it so let's another thing you can do zoom so click on left mouse and then drag it make a square like this and make a box and just re release it so it will be like more um, zoomed so click on this um, center of the peak which you want to calibrate it should be um, left click so click on middle of this peak center of the peak so uh, then go to calibrate click calibrate and then you can put the value 5.31 that is for f2 and also you have to change f1 5.31 and click ok so 
that changed accordingly so you can make full again and now if you are interested only for the aromatic region so you you see that like this part is aromatic region because after 5.2 to uh, 7.6 including your vanillic proton or any other proton so again just click on and hold the left mouse clicked on and then drag it like this make a square so it will be like this okay so once the calibration done you should process your 1d proton first uh, to understand which peak you are going to calibrate then last step for the cozy you need to change these like f2 trace off here and f1 trace off here just to make uh, the spectra comparison on the side so you can click here after trace so you can choose um, f to trace project uh, like normally I click after trace sky dot project so in that case um, you can click it so you will see this spectra and if you click if you put your mouse cursor here and use the scroller up and down so you can adjust the peak size and shape and then go to f1 and again select f1 trace sky project so you will see again the side one and for the spin work it is always like weird shape given the like uh, this side spectra but that is not a um, problem once you paste it in your uh, word file or like PowerPoint file you will see like you can easily understand which peak is correlating which peak so once it is done then go to the edit and uh, plot options and parameters and if you want to make the uh, spectra square then make same like 20 suppose 25 and on the top put 25 so, and then make ok click ok then again go to edit edit and click copy meta file to clipboard so it is the only thing like you can copy your spectra from this software to your word file or like um, your uh, PowerPoint so here just I'm pasting it so you will see like this and you can make it smaller or bigger by cropping like making picture or something so crop it and then you can see <clears throat> the nice 2d cozy enamel so you can easily say this peak is correlating with this peak so this proton and this proton next to each other uh, so these peaks all on the diagram of the square is called um, diagonal peak those are like real peak for those is, uh, uh, peaks and when you see the cross peak like away from the diagonal and they always will be like mirror image so they will be like correlated peak like that means since this peak and this peak then that means they are related and also these two peak like this so this peak is this and this peak is this so they are also correlated so i'll make another video how to read or interpret the cozy enamel so here i'm just showing how to process uh, 2d or crody uh, cozy enamel by spin work and it's very easy and simple i hope this video will help you to process your cozy nmr easily with the free version software spinworks so that's it for today uh, i'll see you in next time with a new video bye now